Now, the compensable 0% rating. And ju just to be sure, um, you still have technically a 0%. The VA gives you a 10% and says, hey, here's some benefits. That's that's essentially what it is, Jason, unless you want to add add to that. The yeah. reason so, for the 10% so is benefits. Yeah, so there is a little notation there, and and you know just to read it directly from the VA's website, the difference between and sometimes you'll hear compensable and non-compensable zero percent ratings and different things that you might be reading or seeing, and you might ask yourself like, what what the heck does that even mean? If you have zero percent, that's not non-compensable. You're not making and you're not getting any money at all. So how could a zero percent be compensable? Right. So that's the question. And the way that it works is, is if you have multiple zero percents, the VA goes, well, if you have multiple disabilities that are uh, service connected, those zeros could actually add up to something. So mm -hmm. in this case, zero plus zero equals 10. Again, VA funny math at its best. This is probably the best version, though, of VA <laughs> funny math. For sure. Right. For sure. So. I, I like this funny math. So it, it, the notation is in some instances, there are individuals who have separate and more than two 0% service connected disabilities uh, who are paid at the minimum 10%. So there you go, more than two 0%. So that would be three. Now, it would only be those conditions that they're looking at. If you're already rated 70% for for um, mental health, and then you have three zeros, they're not going to go, well, we're going to bump you up to 10% because you're already higher than that based on your other rating. But if all you have is three zero percent ratings, now that's going to pop into play. And it says that they will uh, uh, service connected disabilities uh, and that they will be paid out at a minimum of 10%, uh, whatever that is. It's like a hundred and something bucks. I don't remember what the dollar figure is. But there are some other um, uh, um, benefits that come into play on that, Clay. Do you want to run through those? Yep. So the main one I really want to talk about is waiver of the VA funding fee for VA home loans. If you if you stopped by the live stream just the other day, either on this channel, on Veterans Info Tap, or the CivDiv, you know we had David Piatek, I hope I'm saying his last name right, uh, with VA Housing Education and see uh, uh, a a a an actual subject matter expert i've never heard someone speak about just lending and mortgage and home loan stuff um as well as david he's able to articulate his thoughts perfectly but that is an absolute huge rating and you know what it makes me think of when we talk about zero percent because i'm I, one i've never met someone who has zero percent um but it makes me think of the vietnam veteran who agent orange and hypertension becomes presumptive and bam all of a sudden they're they're eligible for hypertension which we know is not that good because it's probably going to result in a zero percent rating if we're looking at just the majority of hypertension ratings so that's who i'm thinking about here i'm sure there are other scenarios but that's the number one audience that pops in my head but uh yeah i think that va funding fee the waiving of that saving you um any time a veteran especially a Vietnam era veteran can save money. I'm going to give that a thumbs up a thousand percent and I'll double down on that. Go ahead, Jason. Absolutely. So two thumbs then, right? Yeah. Double down. All right. So oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. also there's a burial and plot allowance, which is another benefit that pops in when you're at a compensable zero uh, percent. Now here's the thing with zero percents to kind of, I guess, parlay a little bit from where you were with your Vietnam uh, uh, era veteran story. Hypertension is such a huge win for uh, veterans of Vietnam of uh, having it uh, as a presumptive condition. The reason why I say that is because typically somebody who passes away from a heart attack is going to have hypertension as yeah. well. And so what this does is even if that was the only rating, now I never suggest be happy with a 0% and just stay there and that's your life. There's probably other things we could look for, all of that. But let's just say, for argument's sake, you only have a 0% rating or three 0% ratings in the compensable 0% example. And one of those happens to be hypertension at the lower level and um, 
and maybe the other one's sleep apnea, right? And you're treated, God. Yeah. No, no, oh, man. Right? Jeez. So when that goes into effect. Anyway, so the, the point here is, is that now you have a service-connected condition of hypertension. If you were to ever pass away of a heart attack, for example, you your spouse would be able to utilize your service-connected hypertension as kind of a gateway into uh, dependency indemnity compensation, which is a fantastic benefit. So really, any rating, zero through 100, anything that you're rated for in there could be the bridge for a surviving spouse, dependent, dependent parent, uh, if they qualify. Typically, it's going to be the surviving spouse for dependency indemnity compensation. I'm going to throw one little quick note out there, Clay, and then we can move on to the 10%. For disability, for, for um, dependency indemnity compensation, if it's if you're rated less than 100%, right, for at 100% or less, or 100% but less than 10 years, God, there's so much nuance. Then what happens is, is you must have passed away from a service-connected condition. Now, this example, heart attack is not hypertension. So you did not pass away from a service-connected condition. You passed away from a heart attack. However, on the death certificate, there's spots for the cause of death and spots for, well, a spot for the cause of death, and then section for contributing cause of death. The VA views them the same. So as long as your service-connected condition is listed on the death certificate as either the cause or contributing cause of death, you should be good to go with your dependency indemnity compensation claim. So all of a sudden, a 0% rating turns into this fantastic ongoing legacy benefit that goes to your surviving spouse and pays out anywhere between $1,600 per month, all the way up over $3,000 per month, depending on a whole host of factors. All right, Clay, I know that I went off the rails there for a minute, but I believe that, you know, the, the spouse benefits are something that, that a lot of folks miss out on. Absolutely. And moving from the zeros to the 10%, as you can see, all the benefits from 0% carry over. And that kind of continues to be the theme here. So Jason and I aren't going to say everything we said again for 10%. Just know it compounds. And so the additional benefit from zero, a zero compensable to a 10% is V, R, and E. Um, you click that, you can learn everything else, everything about V, R, and E. Applying, you need a 10%. Um, rating applying is easy. Getting approved is a whole other different ball game. And I have a friend who's using this right now. 